Oh, but wait. Something else missing? That's right. T-Bird is gone as well. Neither of them will be being built at this shop. That's the T-Bird and the Olds 88 have now both been sent to the garages where they will be built. I'll do my best to get you some videos. I can't guarantee it. Today's been a pretty busy day. Um, today is Sunday. I'm not sure when you guys will see this video. We brought the AMC wagon, the one that I never got to run because we burnt the tranny up in it, so still fresh, straight, all that good stuff. Um, put it up for sale, uh, hopefully to be able to get rid of the stupid thing because I don't really want to mess with it, honestly. Um, if I can't get what I want for it, I will, but I I would prefer not to build it. i got enough stuff back here. We brought this old box Lincoln home today. Um, Adam says that he burnt a motor up in it, so we're going to We'll play with it just to make sure that's the case, and then if it is, we'll pull her out of there and see what we can flop in it. I only brought this big old box Ford home that I need to figure out a plan for. This one still has a Ford engine, runs, drives, stops, all that fun stuff, so i um, going to try to find a show to, to take that one to. Um, you know if it runs and drives, I'm not going to pull the engine out of it. I will run uh, the Ford engine until that's not an option, like that car. All right, so we did make a little bit of progress on the 98 today. Hold on, I gotta pick up my chain. We use that to pull the T-Bird around. We'll take a look at the uh, progress that's been made inside the garage. Seats are out. Check those things out, my goodness. Looks like a freaking mattress. Inhabited by mice. A whole lot of mice have lived inside this car, that's for sure. You saw we had the front end taken off. So today, we did a little bit more inside. Up here still looks pretty much the same. Except we did kind of break the dash apart. That's been, it's holding on. Fighting us a little bit. Back seats, as you can see. We got lots of room back here. And a little bit farther, actually a lot farther because this car is huge, we have trunk pan all cleaned up. Um, I was pretty pretty happy when I pulled that. Um, she's pretty straight. Pretty, uh, pretty clean, really. I mean, I'm sure this had a lot of water and stuff sitting on top of it. These things aren't sealed really well, um, so I'm sure it probably had plenty on it. Um, so it's all kind of rusty on top, but overall, I mean, it's... It's not in that bad of shape. Um, we pulled all the door panels out, vacuumed up all the glass that I broke, took the headliner down. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that, but took the headliner down. We're making progress. Um, we're getting close to where we can actually start the the build portion of this beautiful ride. Um, I keep firing the rocket up every day, a couple times a day. She fires right up, seems pretty happy. Um, as a derby motor, she's definitely not the greatest choice, but she's staying in here. Um, as far as the build, there's not much we can do. Um, I'm going to need a lot of wheel clearance back here. Um, I believe it's two rods in the back, and I know it's only two rods in the front. So, um, it's got to stay pretty stock. Body mounts, don't touch them. Front suspension, don't touch it. Steering's got to be stock to the car. Um, I mean, it's stock as they can come. Um, that front bumper's got to stay on. Um, you know, it's going to be wire and chain aside from, from the couple spots of threaded rod that we're allowed to run. So we're going to we're gonna go kick it old school. Um, obviously I'll weld the rear end up so we got we got her as posy, but that's there's not a ton we can do to this thing guys. I got to get the rest of the dash out. Start running some rod. Um, probably like dimple the C channel version of the frame and when we get actually into the build I'll roll under there and show you guys exactly what we're working with but basically the rear frame is C channel to like here ish so because this trunk is so big I mean I can try to stand back I mean I, this is I don't know can you guys really tell how big this stupid thing is I mean it's insane but the concern is if I 
dimple it right where, you know, on the frame, obviously, I'm just giving you a reference point. Um, if I dimple it there, and this all comes up like you want it to, I'm not going to be able to see out of the back of this car because the trunk is so goddamn big. Um, so we may look at some type of a double notch type of idea, you know, do something back here, try to make this part really soft so that it comes into the trunk and then rolls. Because um, being as stock as having to run a stock garbage bumper on the front, this is going to be a class where you want to do a lot of driving backwards. Um, so I plan on driving backwards as long as I can. Uh, something new to me. Obviously you guys know I'm not very good at that. So we'll see what happens. But that's uh, that's about it for tonight. Um, got a, a bit more work to do with getting carpet out and stuff, but other than that, um, again, build plan. It's going to be just one bar behind the seat. And I'll put the gas tank off of that. I don't plan on doing anything more. Um, you're allowed to do a full cage. Um, you're allowed to do a halo. But you know what? I feel a lot safer behind that door than I do behind most uh, most of the mid-sized cars I run. I mean, that's a she's got some weight to her, that's for sure. Um, so we'll chain the door shut as we're as we're allowed, because that's all it is. It's just chain. Um, no welding. I believe you're allowed to weld the driver's door. So I may do that just because I'm. I'm not running much of a cage. I may do some welding on here, but everything else is just chain. Um, you got to chain all the doors shut or wire, um, which I do like wire better, but we shall see. Yeah, we'll run our two two spots all thread up front. They're not allowed to go behind the or any farther back from the core support, so they're going to be way up here in this giant hood. Uh, I think I have decided I'm going to keep the steel inner fenders in. Um, I am worried about them getting into the engine, but I think that gives us just a little bit more support. So, we're making progress, guys. What do you think? You enjoy watching this thing? It's definitely a different build than you usually see, huh? She's not Lumina, that's for sure. She's about twice as long. I mean, you got Blake's Taurus sitting over here. You can see how far back the bumper is and how much room is behind it, and this thing comes a good three feet farther forward and damn near goes to the back of the garage so <laughs> that's a that's a sable wagon there's a there's definitely a difference but i'm calling it a night we appreciate you following along as always good ghost